Hello Mortal Kombat fans and welcome back to a new video here on Gamelution. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about special features that we really want in MK11. Now some of these uh, features or modes were included in previous games like Deception and Armageddon and some others uh, were never included. So without any further ado, here's the list. Number 5 Minigames <laughs> Superb. If you've been following Gamelution for a while now, uh, I made an entire video uh, of the best uh, mini games that were ever included in MK games. And if you watched that video, I'm sure you know what I'm about to say. Uh, you see, uh, we want something more than just test your mind and test your luck, which were the uh, mini games that we had in uh, MKX. Trust me, I mean, they are fun, they are really good, but we want something just more. I mean, we want something more interesting. Like, including something completely new would be very much appreciated. To be honest, I'm not really sure what we're gonna like and what we're not gonna like, but trying something playful, something, let's say, not that serious, would be really awesome. So, let's uh, imagine that they include a series of mini games where the player must win a set number of rounds to win the game you know something that would be similar to crash bash you have a series of uh, small games and maybe you can compete with other players online uh, now if they can't really risk it all and maybe do something completely new uh, they can do something I mean, they used to do in the past, or they something they did in the past, which is uh, maybe update older versions of chess combat. Uh, you have puzzle combat, and of course, modern combat, which is similar to Mario Kart. So why not? I mean, maybe sometimes when you get bored of playing ranked matches or something like that, uh, maybe you can give it a try and just have fun. For number four, we have Harakiri, better pronounced as Harakiri. Introduced in Mortal Kombat Deception, and it would be really awesome to see it back in MK11. Now, some of you might tell me that Harakiris were included in MK9, like in Cyber Sub-Zero's Fatality, and even in MKX, like in the case of Coral Khan's Offering Brutality. You are right, but the fact of the matter is that we want the Harakiri finishers, similar to the ones featured in Mortal Kombat Deception, where you have to input certain codes to perform the finisher. So let's say you play a very close match online and all of a sudden you lose by a lucky shot from the back or let's say your opponent spams a move uh, and you really don't believe that your opponent is worthy of uh, finishing you off with a fatality. So it would be great to have the option to uh, input the right keys and if you're quickly enough you can seal your own fate with a harakiri instead of you know your opponent finishing you with a fatality. For number 3 we have the conquest mode instead of the crypt. Of course this should not replace the story mode. Uh, the conquest mode doesn't have to be so extensive like we saw in Deception or Armageddon. It should just consist of a series of missions and maybe side quests here and there that you have to complete with certain characters depending on the realm. So let's say you're in the nether realm, you should complete missions provided by Shinnok or maybe Scorpion. Upon completing the mission, I mean, the player should be rewarded with a, a special key to unlock certain features like maybe secret characters, secret arenas, alternative outfits, you know, the regular stuff that we expect from a Mortal Kombat game. For number two, we have the return of Liu Kang's human form. I've been making videos about Mortal Kombat for the last two years, even more than that actually. And it's always something that is requested a lot by fans, and that is the human form of Liu Kang. We see the Revenant version, it is cool and all, but to be part of the storyline, it is something really disappointing for many, including myself. So we know that uh, Revenant Liu Kang along with Kitana eventually become the sole rulers of the Netherrealm, as suggested in the last scene in Mortal Kombat X. To me that was actually a, a hint that evil Liu Kang was certainly going to be the main villain in the next game. But now that we know that there is a mysterious new character who seemingly has control over time, there is hope that normal Liu Kang will eventually make a return. But at the same time, it also means Shao Kahn's homecoming, since the latter was killed first. So Shao Kahn was killed first in order to get 
Liu Kang back to life, or in the human form at least, uh, Shao Kahn has to be back as well. However, that begs the big question. Will Shao Kahn be the main antagonist again? Will we see another antagonist for this game? I mean, this is something that really baffles me for the moment. Okay, that brings us to number one, and that is new characters. So the NetherRealm Studios did a great job in bringing new characters in MKX. However, if we're gonna be bouncing back and forth in time, thanks to the mysterious character that turns the clock back, then you should likely forget about those young characters that were included in MKX, including Cassie Cage, Kong Jin, Jackie Briggs, etc. But that also opens the door for all characters to return, such as Reiko and Kai. But we should also expect some completely new characters. I mean, in the trailer it was revealed that there are two versions of Scorpion. I mean, I would be really disappointed if the other Scorpion was just a hint that the player will be able to just customize their character as they want. Because that's something that we had already in MKX and even in MK9. So to have a story of Scorpion like similar to the one we saw with Noob Saibot and Sub-Zero would be something really refreshing, really new, really unexpected and very interesting as well. So these are my top picks. Let me guys know if there is any special feature that you'd like to see in Mortal Kombat 11. I'll be reading your feedback in the comments section below and until the next one, goodbye.